Derek, how would you sum up that afternoon's football that we've just witnessed? Listen, that was a war of attrition at times, having to deal with the directness of Ross County. They've got a centre forward there who uh, is a big part of them. They're how they play, they get the ball forward, they support quickly, they take long throws from over the halfway line. And in the main, we stood up to it, except one time where we should deal with the free kick. Um, we uh, we should deal with it, maybe too occupied with the bigger ones. We were a wee bit giving away in size today, but and Murray gets a free header. Um, well, line was good. We just don't um, get to close enough to him to go in. But it's still early and enough in the game for us to come uh, to come back from. I actually thought at half time we spoke about trying to take the sting out of the game a wee bit, eh, try to put that extra pass in to try and play around their, their shape. And I thought we did that for the first, up until the goal really, um, put a couple of extra passes in. But what we needed to do was um, have more penalty box action for them. The centre halves are really big and aggressive and, you know, we had Marley and Matty up there. Um, and we could really have done with Kyle Vassell, to be honest, today. And it would have been a good game from the physical battle and, and getting keeping the hold of the ball up there. But we never... Um, we played, never played enough um, shorter passes to get side to side, to move them, to get their three centre-backs running towards their own goal and make them defend the box now. And uh, the goal changes it because all of a sudden it becomes a bit frantic and you know, we're looking to make changes because you, you, you know, the game is um, something needs to change and bring Andy on. Andy drove up through the night. Um, he'd only had a few hours sleep, the lateness of the, the, the deal. So it wasn't fair on him to start the game either, having no train with his teammates. Um, and we were keen to get him on at some point. Um, and I thought we were um, better towards the latter part of the game, but um, the game should be a draw. It should be, we, we score a, a very good goal. Um, great delivery, one of the few we actually had from set plays today. And Stu gets a brilliant header. Um, and inexplicably, it's, it's chopped off. And in and, and this day and age where Decisions are all about delaying and delaying for VAR and we had a decision that the linesman, rightly so in the modern day, about waiting 20 seconds before he flags for offside. Mm. How we, the referee uh, doesn't have the restraint just to wait, see the ball hit the back of the net. Um, we should expect better. Um, we we should expect better at Kamala than that. Um, it's such a disappointment. And, and he can apologise after the game and, and you know he's made a mistake. He's apologised, he knows he's... Um, we made a fundamental error, um, but it doesn't help our cause. You know, at the very least, I feel as though we deserved a draw at the game, and it was a game where it was battles, it was scrappy. You know, the opponents make it that way. It was really aggressive and competitive at times, but we uh, we should be able to get that equalising goal and be able to maybe have a wee hurrah to try and get a winning goal at home to, towards the end. But obviously, it was compounded with Danny missing the penalty. I'm surprised VAR didn't look at actually saying. Because they're supposed to look at goals as well, so that would be a goal as opposed to bringing it back for the penalty. Yeah, I think once the referee blows the whistle, though, it's. Um, but the ball was almost. I think it was nearly over the line. No, I heard it just before that, um, and having watched it again, I think he has just blown before the ball is, you no, know, over the line. So they're saying on a technicality, the, the, the decision has to be the ref. What the referee's blown for is the the, the penalty kick, which you know. We bring VAR in to be able to re review key decisions. The goal should stand. It's um, if that is the law, then the law is wrong. That should be. I mean, the referee was wrong, um, but the goal should stand. It's not even the the instant. It's as a shot pull, and I can see why he gives a penalty. He should just experienced referee as well. Just it should just show a bit of common sense. Let the the attack play, the phase of play, play, which they always tell us that we need to do, and then uh, make a, a decision then. But in the modern day we, we, we are involved, it's it's unbelievable how that can still be disallowed, that, that goal.